Now, I'm not one to gossip, but I will bring you the tea. Welcome to Chronicle Speaks. So James Timothy Norman, a.k.a. Mr. Dumps in the Truck, thighs like what, can no longer prolong the inevitable. Tim has been sitting in the jail for almost two years awaiting trial for the murder of his nephew, Andre Montgomery. Now, I told y'all a few videos ago that I heard his accomplices were in there singing like canaries. Tim might have the faith of a mustard seed, but he has the hips of a seed that can grow a watermelon. And those hips, Miss Robbie's money, nor those expensive attorneys were going to save Tim from D-Day, which is coming very soon. But before we get into all of that, be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any of this tea. Now let's get back into it. So we've all been waiting for trial to be set in the case of James Timothy Norman and his three alleged accomplices, Terika Ellis, Wally Wael Yagnum, and Travel Anthony Hill. So if you're not up to date, I have a few videos on this topic, but to do a quick recap, James Norman was a cast member on the hit television show, Welcome to Sweetie Pies, with his mother, legendary singer of the I Cats, Miss Robbie Montgomery, who turned her cooking passion into a highly acclaimed restaurant in St. Louis, Missouri, that garnered her attention. TV show on the OWN Network. With this being a family-owned business, Miss Robbie also hired her grandson, Andre Montgomery, who was the son of Miss Robbie's late son, Andre Sr. Tim seemed to always have ill feelings towards Andre that the viewers quickly picked up on, but no one imagined that Tim would be the alleged person to actually hire someone to take Andre's life. On March 14, 2016, Andre was murdered on the 3600 block of Natural Bridge Avenue, and for years there were no arrests made, no updates on this story, no nothing. That was until August of 2020 when the House of Cards came tumbling down. Tim was arrested, Terika, Wael, and later the alleged shooter Travell, who later told on himself on a jail telephone. This case couldn't have been calculated by a bigger bunch of dummies than this one that fumbled the ball being caught up with a burner phone, having the alleged shooter use his personal telephone that was picked up by cell phone towers by the scene of the crime, and the insurance agent, Wael, messing up on the policy paperwork that Tim took out on Andre. There have been many halts in this case with COVID, Tim switching attorneys, Tim filing motions. Well, all of that is coming to a head because the shooter, Travell Anthony Hill, has entered a plea of guilty. And in this plea, he is telling it all. And Tim and Terica might not have a leg to stand on by the time all of this is said and done. So me being a curious individual started wondering to myself, what the heck did they offer Travell to make him sing like this? Because we all know that snitching is highly frowned upon and typically comes with some type of consequence right well looking at this guilty plea this is exactly what happened it says pursuant to rule 11 c1a federal rules of criminal procedure in exchange for the defendant's voluntary plea of guilty to the offenses in count one and count two of the superseding indictment the government agrees that no further federal prosecution will be brought in this district relative to the defendant's agreement to use a facility of interstate commerce, a cellular telephone to commit the murder of Andre Montgomery in exchange for monetary compensation on or about March 14th, 2016 of which the government is aware of at this time in addition the parties agree that the u.s sentencing guideline total offense level analysis agreed to by the parties herein is the result of negotiation and led in part to the guilty plea the parties further agree that either party may request a sentence above or below the u.s sentencing guideline range combination of total offense level and criminal history category ultimately determined by the court pursuant to any chapter of the guidelines in title 18 united states state code section 3553a the parties further agree that notice of any such request will be given no later than 10 days prior to the sentencing and that said notice shall specify the legal and factual basis for the request i.e the da showed him everything that they have told him that he was going down the only way to get a lesser sentence is to be the snitch on tim so they had all of these different charges brought against him they said we'll give you count one and count two we'll take the interstate commerce and use of a cell phone and you collecting money for this murder if you can implicate Tim and everybody else that was involved. And he said, okay, I'll do it. Okay, so this is what they're saying happened. On March 14, 2016, at approximately 8.02 p.m., Andre Montgomery, here and after Montgomery, was killed by gunfire at 3964 Natural Bridge Avenue, which is located in the city of St. Louis within the Eastern District of Missouri. 
Montgomery's cellular telephone was located in close proximity to his body and was forensically examined following his murder. Witnesses at the scene of the homicide indicated that Montgomery went outside to meet someone after receiving a telephone call and was shot and killed shortly thereafter. Several days prior to March 14, 2016, defendant Travell Hill had met with an unindicted mutual acquaintance of Hill and co-defendant James Timothy Norman, who was Montgomery's uncle. At that meeting, the mutual acquaintance informed Hill that Norman wanted Montgomery Montgomery dead and that Montgomery was staying at a hotel in St. Louis County. On March 14, 2016, Hill met with Norman at Norman's request south of downtown St. Louis, Missouri, near the Peabody housing complex within the Eastern District of Missouri, which was where Hill was living at the time. Norman met with Hill for the purpose of having a discussion. Following that discussion, it was Hill's understanding that Norman wanted Hill to kill Montgomery, Norman's nephew. Norman advised Hill that a female whom Hill now knows to be co-defendant Terrica Ellis would be contacting him on his cellular telephone, the number of which was 314-665-5999, to advise Hill where Montgomery could be located for the purpose of committing the murder. After meeting with Norman on March 14, 2016, Hill obtained a 380 caliber semi-automatic firearm from someone nearby his residence. Hill chose this type of firearm because, among other things, it was small and could easily be concealed inside his sweatshirt. Later in the day, on March 14, 2016, Hill received a call on his cellular telephone from Terrica Ellis. Ellis advised Hill of the address where Montgomery could be located and advised Hill that she was going to lure Montgomery out of the house, which would allow him to commit the murder. After utilizing his cellular telephone to learn the address of Montgomery's location from Terrica Ellis, Hill traveled to the location which was near the intersection of Natural Bridge and Warren Avenue. Hill arrived there armed with his 380 caliber handgun. Hill observed Montgomery emerge from the residence at 3964 Natural Bridge, but Hill was unsure if it was actually Montgomery initially. In order to get closer to him to confirm his identity, Hill asked Montgomery if he had any marijuana. At that time, Hill confirmed that it was, in fact, Montgomery in front of the residence at 3964 Natural Bridge. Hill watched as Montgomery approached a vehicle and spoke with at least one occupant in the vehicle, whom Hill assumed to be Ellis but Hill was unable to see inside the vehicle at the time. Hill then watched as Montgomery turned to walk back towards the residence at 3964 Natural Bridge. Hill then said something to stop Montgomery. Hill walked closer to him, then discharged his firearm multiple times, striking Montgomery. Hill then fled the scene, disposing of both his cellular telephone and the firearm. Montgomery ultimately died inside the residence as a result of the gunshot wound. On March 16, 2016, Norman contacted Hill and advised Hill to meet with a separate individual who was known to both Hill and Norman. That same day, Hill met with the individual near the intersection of Chateau and Dillon in the city of St. Louis. During the brief meeting, the individual handed Hill a bag containing approximately $5,000 in United States currency, at which time the individual told Hill words to the effect of, keep your mouth quiet. Hill accepted the payment, knowing that it was payment for Norman in exchange for Hill killing Montgomery. For counts one and two, Travell Anthony Hill will either get life imprisonment or a fine of $250,000 or both. There will be a sentencing on September 20th, 2022 for Travell Anthony Hill. However, the others, Tim Norman, Terrica Ellis, and Wally Wael Yagnum will be going to trial on September 6th. The fact that all of this has gone down, Tim got absolutely nothing from these insurance policies for killing his nephew or having his nephew murdered. He's going to have to go through hurting his mother, which I know her sitting through this trial. I pray Ms. Robbie is not there. But once she hears and sees all the evidence in this case, Lord have mercy. I'm going to pray for this lady. Tim, have mercy on your soul because you definitely going to need it. So I know typically in these types of situations, they go after the smaller fish. Yes, Travell was the one that pulled the trigger, but Tim was supposedly the mastermind behind everything. So they go after the smaller fish. They give them different deals. If you can plead guilty, tell us everything that we need to know and give us the information on this big fish, then we'll look out for you in a way too. They're really after Tim, so it'll be interesting to see what happens in this trial. I'm planning on traveling to St. Louis to go to some of these court dates as well so I can keep you guys in the loop. I want to know what do you guys think because there was a lot of naysayers in my last video about Tim. Well, how do you know for sure? I don't know for sure. How about that? We'll be going to the trial to find out exactly but child, with everybody singing like canaries and all of this evidence that they have against him, it's going to be hard for Tim to squeeze his hips out of this predicament. I'm just saying. Leave a comment. Tell me what y'all think about everything going on with this Tim Norman story and Travell Anthony Hill singing like a canary. Leave a comment and you know how we do. We'll talk about it down below. 
Talk to you guys later. Bye. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that bell so you don't miss any of my new episodes.